Yeah, been a while, hasn't it? After all the celebration and everything, and oh my god, what the... Yep, looks like we're just stuck on our own. Anyway, I welcome you all to the post-game for... What I believe to be a game that... Yeah, I wish you guys show more appreciation. Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. There you are, Patty. Yes, I want to pick up new members, and I'm not ditching any either. Really? I see, so that means we gotta head outside to do that, huh? Nah, nothing else. Turns out my party members have been pretty much... Like, I went solo this time. So we'll have to do this when we're outside. So yeah, we've beaten the main game. So now what? This is our team now. Everyone's still intact ever since we've beaten the game. But it turns out there is in fact one last loose end that we need to take care of. Yeah, Astark's Labyrinth. This is actually exclusive to not only the DS version of this game, but also... Also, I believe, a PS2 remake that happened? Yep, now it's time for us to enter the last dungeon. Wait, is this it? Oh, so that's where the dungeon is. The dungeon's down below, downstairs. Anyway, let's get started. We have the whole party, so we're just gonna see it through. Ooh, we gain a Rebirth Stone. The Rebirth Stone is a powerfully profitable pebble to have had to, have to head in times of trouble. Interesting. And we get another mini medal. Yeah, we're getting more of these. But chances are, yeah. I'm not leaving anything to chance. And I'll just say it here. I have to get this done. Uh-huh. Let's get this done. Ah, yes. The terrible lightning that's going to make things more trouble than it should. Guess we'll have to go on the attack then. Nice job. Thankfully, I can just fully heal the party members that do need it. Ah, great, the Mimic. Let's just take him down fast. Way fast. And another mini medal for our efforts. Only nine, because we wasted some on getting something nice. Now we gotta watch our step here. Yeah, this will most likely be the only part. Because after this is basically drag basically Dragon Quest 6. But you guys probably won't be seeing it for a while. Oh, I see. The Fairy Foil also doubles as a Kabuff ability. That's nice. I had no idea I could do that, though. Good.
Now to take them down. A lot of experience, but yeah, worth it. All right, now let's move. And this one nets us a shimmering shield. That's interesting. This shield can reduce damage from fire and ice base attacks. But the Metal King shield provides impressive defenses that gives pesky spells a hard time hitting home. You know what? Let him equip it. Besides, he needs to take less damage from fire and ice attacks. Yeah, let's see you take your reducing your nukes. Nice, now he takes much less damage than ever. Sure, the defense isn't that great, but who cares? It's actually good. Well, that did it. No chests here. Now it's time to move on. Let's implement the safe passage. Ow, my head hurts. I can feel something really powerful in here. I agree. This nets us the war drum. This is gonna come in very handy. And it can be used as many times as we like. Let's give it to Madchen. She has the Sage of Stone, so we could be double as a healing capability. And this one nets us a Hell Saber. Yep, let's give it to him. I'm liking that we're making a lot of progress here. Yeah, eat the zap. That's done. No, we're gonna have to go around. Yep, we're gonna have to multi-heal for the job. Alright, so who leveled up this time? Deborah is now 38. She's way behind compared to her compared to her family.
And now we reach this point. Now begins the maze. And this one nets us a massacre sword! G there's more to this than meets the eye, huh? Nah, let's put it in the box, in the bag. If I can follow the right path, I should be able to do it. Now take the left side. Then you head up. Then you make a right. Then you head down. Then you make a down right. And then you head straight down. And then with that, you take the stairs. Now this is where the maze gets tough. Uh-huh. Fine, we'll just have to head upwards. Uh-huh. Death squads. Yeah, we'll manage. I better get everyone fully healed because you don't want to end up dead. Oh dear, the Mimic. Let's put him in a dirt nap. Guess not. Yo, you drain my MP? Yeah, you're not that tough. Another mini metal. Ooh, a file of Elfin Elixir. That is gonna so come in very handy. Yeah, having a lot of these is gonna help. Yeah, now we're not facing newer enemies. Yeah, cause that one has bounced by default. Gotta keep everybody alive. Not to mention, the Death Squad just keeps doing weird stuff. Oh, yikes, that's not good. Yeah, that should keep you alive. Remember, Abel has the meteorite, Perry has the meteorite bracer. That's good. Now you gotta head all the way left and then head straight down.
Yeah, this boss fight ain't long. The Suit of Metal King Armor. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, he has the Pallium Regal. Can impede the impact. As tempting as this is. Let's give it to... Let's give... Let's give it to Mason. Mason's gonna definitely need that. Now you gotta head straight right. And the chest is empty. What gives? Oh no! I think I'm gonna cry. There's something really scary nearby. I see. Bill Haas. Better hurry up and get get matched and healed up fast. Not again. What a rough ride. Let him hold on. Let him hold. Yeah, having the ward room and having everything means I could be set. Let's hope it pays off. But let's try something really stupid. Yeah, let's remove your buff. Yeah, they're unaffected, of course. I kind of knew they would do that. Fine, we're just going to have to beat them down the old-fashioned way. Just got to keep on attacking until it's all gone. Yeah... After a bit, I'm gonna do something else, and then I'll probably be starting... Oh my god, that's destructive. Nice job. I think I haven't decided what my next project is for the 3DS. Honestly, if I get my hands on an HP Victus, which I will be raising money on my own, by the way, I will most likely be putting it toward the Victus, so that way I can, well, keep doing what I love. Besides... My HP Omen isn't going to last that long. And if it gives out, then I'm boned. Ah, uh, yeah, the war drum. That's what it's used for. How about we use it, use it on our own selves? Stop with the rock bomb shards. Yep. It's basically an oomph for your entire party. I find that clever. Damn it! Hate having to do this!
No, I ain't getting on that groove. That got nuts. And this one nets us a flail of destruction. Wow, he can actually use that? Let's trade the boomer. No. This is tough. Gudian, get everybody healed up. We're gonna need this for the last fight. All right. Yep, we made it. This is where things are gonna get ugly quick. I know that for a fact. To my utter surprise, he's here. <sighs> Who are you? Who disturbs my sleep? My name is Estark. That is all I can recall. I do not even remember if I am good or evil. Why are you here? Have you come to destroy me? Yeah. Then I have no choice. I do not wish to be destroyed. Let us fight! Final boss, or rather secret boss, S. Stark. First things first, I need to prepare accordingly. Gotta make sure I stay alive constantly. This is the same boss that we fought in Dragon Quest IV. But this time, he's a super boss. Oh, you decide to negate my buffs. Okay. Except the fact that, well, I can, I still have a double power up. Gotta power up and be ready. Cold breath negates damage. Disruptive again. Yeah, he attacks twice a turn. So you gotta make sure every move you have counts. Disruptive wave of energy again. I better make sure I put it back up immediately. Oh, yikes. That's a yikes, all right. Yep, by doing this, it gives a full heal. Disrupting again. Fine by us then. The worst part is you gotta beat this guy in under 20 turns or less and you get a nice reward. I ain't doing that. Good, that takes minimal damage.
Bring forth a war drum! Very good. Cold breath, minimal damage. No, you gotta fully heal yourself. You gotta keep doing it constantly every chance you can. You don't want to end up at a disadvantage. Ah yes, the disrupt. That means we gotta put our buffs back up again. Don't bother using the old, like, how do I put this? Nice. Insulate, Sage of Stone, Wardrum. Good. Now we can go on the offensive for a change. Cold breath, minimal damage. Yeah, this one's a lot harder. And can wipe your party out if you're sloppy. Open elixir. Hand to sleep. Yeah, having to hold on for that long, give me a pain. You gotta keep constantly healing so that way you don't die. Well, at least we're managing this. If he disrupts, you gotta repeat the process. Oh dear. Fine. Let's make sure we have a war drum going.
Yeah, Beum's still in effect. But you don't know what to expect because sometimes he'll disrupt you and sometimes he'll hit you hard. And sometimes he does stuff like this. At least we're managing this. Double blazing fire. Not as easy as it should, but my god, it's nuts. Hopefully by the time it ends, we'll find out how many turns it took. Okay, double multi-heal. Yeah, that's nuts. Yep, we're doing pretty pretty well. Okay, disrupt it down. Prepare to insulate. Sage of Stone, War Drum. Thank God for that. Better keep on constantly healing, because you don't want to be at a disadvantage. And if you think that's nuts, just wait till I have to do it in Dragon Quest VI. Yeah, I don't want my hand to fall asleep, because it's already falling asleep. Yep. Yep, we're doing pretty fine. But the instant he disrupts, I gotta put back the insulate and everything. Blazing fire, that's no big. Double blazing fire, this might present a problem. Thank God for multi-heal. Though if I had multiple multi-heals, that would really help. Gotta keep that Sage of Stone up. I think this fight might actually be a bit tolerable this time. Or not.
Okay, so cold breath. No disruption. Yup, disrupt. God damn it. That's alright. Yeah, let's see you try that again, bozo. A double Kafriz. That's never a good sign. Okay, good. Don't bother using Kasaps or Kabuff. Because they'll just basic S Star will just use disruptive wave to wipe it out. Just go on the attack. Well, what do you know? We did it. And we get 5,000 experience for it. Ugh. How is this possible? You defeated me. And in only 32 turns. It cannot be helped. I must open the doors to my secret place of enjoyment. But bear in mind that I will not be beaten again so easily next time. Hmm. Yep. That's it. We're done. We're pretty much done with this. But if you want to know what... What was the reward? Well... That's that. My god, that was nuts. There is actually one more place we gotta show before we wrap this up. Yeah, what you unlock after beating this. I'll admit, that boss was a pain. And it's right here. This place was once the great dungeon of Nadiri at the backbone of the underworld. And in the north of here, soaring out in the sky is the mighty Mount Suswan. You would be wise to avoid both, unless you enjoy feeling chills run down your spine. Yeah. This door is locked. But what this unlocks... Ah, welcome. Welcome to the Nadira TNT board. The reception's upstairs. Yeah, you basically unlock the board, but you also unlock a special character if you beat it. Starkers. And it's found right here. This is the board in question. And if you're able to beat that, you unlock a very rare and powerful character. Although trying to go through that is going to be a challenge in and of itself. But I have all the time I need for that. But other than that, that's really not much else to say on the matter. I got sloppy in the first fight. Yeah, you didn't see it because it was a massacre. But this time, yeah, I did well. So, that's, that's it. We're pretty much done with Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. Not kidding, we are done with that. Let's time to rest up in Gotha, and that's it. We've went through so much, we've completed everything, and with it, another Dragon Quest game down the tube, down the hatchet. And this is the only post-game part you're getting. And they're all... And basically, once you beat that, then you can get your hands on another party member, Rebjorn. That, that means you need to get Starkers in your party. But, yeah, I have all the time I need for it. So... That's it. Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, has been put to rest. My god, what a journey it has been. Not impossible, but it can be quite tedious to say the least. Jeez Louise. With this, Dragon Quest V has officially come to a close. Were you expecting that it was going to do more? No, of course not. This is the only post-game part you're getting. Don't like it? Tough. I'm still on my crusade to do playthroughs of Dragon Quest games, and I won't rest until Square Enix get, gets their heads out of their asses 
and actually consider porting these games onto modern consoles. I've said this once, and I will keep saying it over and over and over. I can't stress this enough. There is no excuse. What makes this depressing is that viewership for my playthroughs of Dragon Quest, especially the first five games, have been meh, to say the least. I want that to be corrected, honestly, especially with what's yet to come. And speaking of which, the next game on this journey also serves to conclude the Zenithian trilogy. Do you want to know the worst part? The version I'm playing is without a doubt one of the rarest DS games to find. I paid $75 for my copy. A loose one. Do I regret it? No. Because prices for the game, especially Complete in Box or CIB, are ludicrous. This is why the retro market flat out sucks. Not only that, but this was another game that we never got back in the day. Thing is, Enix was going to bring this game over as Dragon Warrior 5. But due to their US brand shutting down in 1995 in September, after the failure of a little game called King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, it never happened. Before I continue, I want to say that not only did we not get that, but we also didn't get Star Ocean and not even Terranigma. That's just messed up. It wouldn't get an updated version either like the other entries. We would have to wait until 2010-2011 to finally experience this. Also, there's one more thing to mention. This entry also had a prequel in the form of Dragon Warrior Monsters, or Dragon Quest Monsters Terry's Wonderland for the Game Boy Color. Just letting you know that. Okay, so without further ado, when next we meet, we're heading back to the world of Zenithia, or rather the Zenithian Trilogy. However, the setting this time takes place years before the events of Dragon Quest IV, and years after the events of Dragon Warrior Monsters. What began as a simple mission to stop a dread fiend soon becomes a journey for a group of heroes, Wreck, Millie, and Carver. Along the way, new allies join them in the form of Ashlyn, Nevan, and Terry. These six heroes must trek through two worlds, the real world and the world of dreams. Together, these six must contend with various trials, battle tough foes, meet new allies, and find a means to save both worlds. And along the way, use various jobs to get it done. Like with the Erdrick trilogy, we're going back. Back to where it all began. Join us as we tackle the final entry in the Dragon Quest Zenithian trilogy, Dragon Quest VI, The Realms of Revelation. If you've enjoyed this playthrough, please be sure to hit the like button. This really means a lot to me. Please also don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Doing all of that will help the channel a lot. When will I do Dragon Quest VI? I'll let you know. But right now, I'm in need of a breather. This game, Dragon Quest V, nearly drove me nuts. But I had a lot of fun playing it. Give it a shot. I recommend it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you in Dragon Quest VI, and thank you.